hey my amazing people hamza here and welcome back to the channel it's hard to make this video but i have to admit it that i have been wrong about gutenberg until now and for most of you that are still questioning the abilities of gutenberg this is the video for you because in the previous video i got questions like gutenberg is not yet ready or gutenberg doesn't have animations it's not supporting dynamic content and all that simply because of the tool or that was spectra that i shared with you in that video but in this video i'm even going to share with you a list of other really powerful tools and these tools have massive possibilities and options if you're using the gutenberg page builder let's get started I have to tell you that it is your feedback from a previous video that made me go down the rabbit hole to actually look up for tools that are providing the possibilities that you are looking for. Some of you were saying like Gutenberg doesn't support animations. Others were saying Gutenberg doesn't support a dynamic content. I was like, I even already know a tool that is already doing that. And in this whole list of the tools I'm going to share today, like 90% of them provide dynamic content. Not only that, interactive boxes, banners, animations. And before we actually dive straight into this, I want to mention that there are tools that work really great when they are in combination of each other. For example, if you are going to use the Spectra blocks, it would be wise that you use them with Astra. That doesn't mean that the spectral blocks don't work with any theme actually you can use them with any theme but it is way better if you work with the astra theme and also the spectral blocks because these are all coming from the same developer not only that we also have the cadence theme and the cadence blocks and these two actually will work so well if they are working together i mean if you are using the cadence theme and the cadence blocks they are also gutenberg add-ons that work just as standalones and you just have to look up for a gutenberg ready theme and you're good to go for example there is this green shift uh page builder blocks for gutenberg there is also one called stackable i don't know if you've heard about this but it is massive it is so powerful then there is one called jet engine this is more into the dynamic side of things that you are able to add more dynamic features on your gutenberg website that is what jet engine does and there's one called quickly and not just a blocks plugin it is more like a theme builder block plugin sort of tool because it is giving you even more power not only be able to get blocks into your gutenberg website but also have theme builder level functionality i'll talk about this a bit later in the video but there are also other tools like for example the plus add-ons for gutenberg I mean, if you check out this plugin, you will be surprised by how much possibilities you are able to have from dynamic content to animations to whatever mention it. Now let's get started. So we can get a little bit about how far you can go with these tools and what possibilities and functionalities they bring to the table. Okay, let's start with the Gutenberg blocks by Cadence. Cadence is initially a theme developer so they have this amazing theme called cadence and they also developed this plugin called the blocks for gutenberg by cadence they have a number of custom blocks that you can use in your wordpress website like having the advanced buttons the testimonials shape dividers and all that stuff but i have to mention that gutenberg isn't only giving you the possibility to create grid layouts but also they enable you to have like full width layout and you're also able to have custom typography on a specific block not only that but also you're able to make mobile changes i mean so that your website is mobile responsive cadence has really leveled up this game because you're able to set up a color palette call to actions so i think cadence is actually bringing a lot on the table and i think you would actually consider checking them out in your next gutenberg project and so if you are to look into the pro version of the cadence blocks uh, the starter pack actually comes at 69 dollars and that will enable you to have unlimited websites let's go down here and look into some of the pro blocks that come in cadence pro so like for example you can have the image gallery you can have a video pop-up a model and in this model box you are actually able to add different kinds of content including animations you can create a post grid or a carousel you can create a product carousel split content advanced slider 
uh there's one that i saw over here like the pro form add-on so you can add your forms as blocks uh in gutenberg from different autoresponders and here are also some other next level features that actually cadence also provides you in the pro version animation on scroll custom icons dynamic content i mean some of you are wondering whether you can have animations in gutenberg well that is already existing so in case you consider getting the Cadence Pro here, there is a comparison table of the free plan and also the pro plan. Let's look into the next tool. And that is obviously Spectra. I made a video about this when it was launched, but just to sum it up in case you want to see a full video about Spectra and what you're able to do, I'll point you to that video down in the description of this video. This was before called the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. It's a plugin that was developed by Brainstorm Force, and later they revamped it because they realized that, hey, it would be better to position it as a standalone plugin that someone can just simply use with any other theme from WordPress for as long as it is Gutenberg ready. And they brought us a ton of features, including uh, lottery animations now, taxonomy listing, blog codes, call to actions, Google Map widgets, buttons, post carousel. However, they are soon going to be releasing a pro version and we expect that in the pro version, there will be coming dynamic content, just like they said, and some possibility to animate things. But before we start hoping for what hasn't already been delivered, let me take you to another tool that is actually doing what most of you guys were wondering about. This is the GreenShift add-ons for Gutenberg. The developers of this plugin have positioned themselves as the best tool when it comes to creating animations with Gutenberg and here is why. I was having a look at their website which is actually built using Gutenberg and man I was surprised by how much they could pull off using Gutenberg and its animations that they built into their own plugin. Look at this, look at this. Look at these animations, look at that, look at that. Look at all these animations, beautiful. And actually the performance of this blocks plugin is awesome. And so it's not going to cause a lot of blood and you know, affect the speed of your website and all that stuff. So they've actually really thought about this whole thing, you know, and they don't want to bring you any problems when you use their plugin on your website. And if these were your questions, wondering whether you're able to have these features, the answer is here. So let's look into the other possibilities from this plugin. For example, they're also actually having a template library that you can easily import already made templates or blocks or sections, call them whatever you call them and start building using Gutenberg. They also have support for containers, uh, mobile smart scroll for sections, CSS animations and hover transitions, dynamic blocks, animated headlines, uh, counters, videos, tabs, togglers, tab of content, progress bars, advanced page design animations and a lot more. This is not really a tutorial about some of these tools but I would love to know from you guys would you really want me to create a specific tutorial about some of these tools so we can really have an in-depth drive to see exactly how these tools work. Anyway, now let's look into the pricing of GreenShift if you are to go with a pro version. You are going to be paying about $40 a year and you have a query add-on and listing that I mean you'll be able to create listing using Gutenberg. How cool is that? Animation section library and obviously premium support. I think they're actually doing a great job and I am thinking you would start off with a free version and test out and see how things work like. Because if right now we are all dying for performance for our websites and such tools are showing up to prove that we are actually able to achieve that, still in Gutenberg, then why not give them a try? All right, now let's go to the other one that they have been there for some time. They actually have some pretty good number of installs, about 60,000, and this is Stackable. And the big question here is why Stackable? Stackable is here to tell you that actually, if you are looking for page builder-like design features, then it is the go-to tool because they are bringing you a lot, a lot from multiple block layouts. You can save your blocks to defaults, animate blocks on hover, block background and image color settings, and all this over right here. And again, dynamic content. It's already a feature that they are supporting you. I mean, adding dynamic content functionality to your website and fully customize your query loops, built-in custom fields, and block conditional displays. 
I mean, this is already a feature or these are already features that Stackable is already putting on the table. But also in case you want integrations with already other existing tools within Gutenberg, then Stackable is giving you that option. For example, if you want to integrate with uh, SEF, Metabox, Jet Engine, that is all already possible. So if your question is, will I be able to accomplish my design needs to what my client or what my website requires me or what I want to have on my website, then I think Gutenberg is already a standing option. And with Stackable, you even have way many possibilities to go. So on talking about integrations, that is where I actually happen to think about the possibilities that having these integrations with tools like jet engine can actually bring into your design and functionality of your website and that is why i have to mention something called jet engine jet engine was initially an add-on built for elemental website but later on they realized that hey there is a lot of demand also from the ecosystem of gutenberg and they built a gutenberg plugin for jet engine or they built a jet engine plugin for gutenberg i think that now makes sense and with this you are able to have the possibility to create custom dynamic site. In fact, I have a tutorial about Jet Engine but using Elementor and the possibilities of you creating custom dynamic sites with custom loops and a lot more. And those same possibilities, they are now also possible to achieve in Gutenberg. Like, for example, you are able to create custom post types, taxonomies, you're able to create custom fields, option to actually have your meta boxes, option pages, uh, listing items. I mean, if you want to create listings, for example, if you're creating like directory websites, like a car dealership website, hotel or real estate website, or if you're creating like an online store where you want to have different kind of listings, then Jet Engine is what you need and now with the fact that it can integrate with other awesome gutenberg add-ons like stackable then you have a lot more power all right so let's go to another awesome tool called quickly this is not making so much runs out there but it is an awesomely powerful tool and what i mean by that is that think about quickly as a theme builder level add-on for Gutenberg because with quickly you have this possibility to set up like your design systems from colors typography and all that and then you also have custom blocks from quickly that you can easily add on your pages and customize to your liking from typography colors and layouts and shapes and size and all that that is what quickly is bringing to the table and with this there is no actually a, a free version but they are providing you with a trial version and uh, that way you are able to install this on a virtual environment test out everything and if you are happy with what they are providing then you can think about actually subscribing when you look into the pricing they are starting at 49 euros that is per year and you can use it on two websites you have over 500 plus design or pre-designed templates and those of you that want to use it on more websites, you can actually subscribe to these other plans. I'll be leaving some of the links right down here in the description of this video so you can always go and check it out. Some of what they're actually providing. For example, they have full site editing feature. So with a full site editing feature, it means that with this quickly, you are kind of building a quickly theme and you're able to add and set up all these other theme-like features using quickly. And it's simply a plugin, still in Gutenberg, and you have all this much possibility. You have scroll interactions like hiding and revealing headers on scroll, and you can add predefined animations using selectors and a lot more. Quick tool tips, dynamic data, relative styling, repeater blocks. I haven't seen this option with any of the other blocks plugin. So that's why I'm like quickly is in a class of its own when it comes to Gutenberg because quickly is giving you another lot of features and possibilities unlimited fonts and icons, model or pop-up builder, just like you have seen in Elementor that you're able to create all these pop-up or you have this pop-up builder, Quickly is also giving you that possibility right over here. Now there are also those other Gutenberg add-ons that do deserve a mention in this video. There's one called the Otter uh, page builder blocks and extensions and they have these conditions feature, for example, the URL string, the URL query string, the date range, the day of the week, WooCommerce products in the cart. I mean, these are some of the conditions that you would want to have if you're actually having a project that does require them anyway. And 
they are already providers. There are already plugins that are offering you these options. So they also have the other plugins like the section block, the advanced heading blocks, uh, group button block, the slider block, accordion block, tabs blocks, and all this stuff over here. Then there is one called the Genesis blocks. Right now they have over 60,000 uh, active installs. They have been actually there for some good time. So they have this section and layout blocks, advanced columns, inline notice, um, call to actions, and they also have actually a pro version that you can check out in case you want to get more other features. So there is one called GetWit. GetWit is actually a Gutenberg plugin from Motopress. And Motopress, I have made some videos on this channel from Motopress, Hotel Booking. And they also have Elementor add-ons for Motopress or from Motopress. Now there is one for Gutenberg. A number of blocks are already offered over here. So I would highly recommend them because I have personally uh, use their services and I trust in the tools that they develop anyway. So if you come and check out over here, there are a number of blocks that you can use like the counter block, the pricing block, the progress bar block, circular block, post carousel block, image hotspot block over here, table of contents block. These are all coming in the free version of the get with add-ons for Gutenberg. Now, the very last one I'll mention in this video is the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. If you already know about the plus add-ons for Elementor, you know how much value they are offering in the Elementor page builder community. I mean, in terms of the features and sections and add-ons. Now, just imagine the same power that they enable in Elementor. Now it's coming over here in Gutenberg. So when you look into the core blocks, there is a row, global colors, global spacing, and there is even this one that enables you to create a dark version of your website. I mean, in Gutenberg, without having to know any kind of coding. When you look into now the essential blocks, you have the buttons and the pie chart, the video player, the SVG draw, info boxes, styling. I think you guys are more interested in probably the dynamic options and the listing and all that stuff. There are blog listing features like having the carousel, lazy load, the styles, filters. You have also the WooCommerce possibilities and all that stuff. Like for example, if we look into the uh, blog builder, you have the possibility still in Gutenberg using the plus add-ons for Gutenberg, single post builder, advanced WP filter, dynamic content category listing, Ajax search bar. Now, this is where I bring it back to you guys. Let me know what is not yet there yet in Gutenberg that is making us to still feel like it is not yet the time to make the switch. Because on my end, I am actually thinking of making a full tutorial on how to create a Gutenberg website using some of the free features and maybe after that tutorial I would follow up with creating the dynamic website using uh, Gutenberg and we see really how far we can go. If you guys think I should do something like that, let me know down in the comments. Before I close the video, let me take you into the pricing of the plus blocks or the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. I think I'm pronouncing it wrongly. So it's supposed to be the plus blocks, not the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. So right now it's actually running at the promotion of about $20 a year for one website and you have 80 plus pro blocks. 300 already made UI blocks. Imagine having 80 plus pro blocks, including the plus blocks, the listing, the builder, the extras and the designs. I mean, the design these are already pre-designed UI kits that you can easily just use in your Gutenberg website. So if you are going for the others, the difference is in the websites or how many websites you're going to be using this uh, plus add-ons on. So I'll close this up for now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Have a good time and goodbye.